dragon ear. I wanted to do a walk around with a little more close-up detail because I just can't get everything in the pictures to look that great. So here we go. Just showing some of the detail work into her. A lot of metal grid work with rust. I had to add a lot of rust to her because she doesn't have too much natural rust. She's not originally a Wisconsin bee. This is Sparky. He's my own creation. And the hood vents are house vents, stainless steel house vents. The grill my husband made for me while I was doing all the airbrush work to blend in and match with the airbrush job. Uh, the fenders, I've cut them about five different times. I can't fit 35s under here. Right now she's rocking 33s. Patch of skulls. Definitely have to have your snorkel. The diamond plate down here on the lower is all, all airbrushed, fake airbrushed in. I created it also with all the rust. Give it more of the illusion of real. Around the door frames, had metal grid work, rivets and rust. A nice rough cut fenders, but I done a little bit of painting to make them even look rougher than they really are. And then this is a trim piece that I added because I cut the bottom of the steep here and it was just an open hole. So I added a piece of housing ashing on there. Yeah, I add that in. And then this is a <laughs> bump from uh, one of the off-road parks in Missouri. I'm not sure. I know I think it's one of the mud fests. More diamond plating, dragon scale. And a, I mean, a pile of skulls there. And Kratix colors, because that's what I used to paint this was Kratix wicked colors. A Jeep Stock 2008 sticker, because that's how long I've had her. And she even survived the Cash for Clunkers program. I was tempted though. Well, tell me that ain't true, love. <laughs> so, and then these skulls go all the way down the trim work, all the way down the side. Again, I got all these. I didn't take away any of her battle scars, because as far as I'm concerned, she earned every one of those. And we got them all over Missouri and Illinois. Rock crawling and mud and tearing things up, so not taking them away. Like right down here is diamond plating, but here's one of her real battle scars, and that's from uh, Washita Off Road Park. So she's been carrying that scar since before she had the rock sliders, which we made out of galvanized steel car wash. There's another pile of skulls there in this corner. So, I mean, there's really a lot of detail that you don't see in the pictures. And I try to get a close-up feel of them, but it just can't be done. So, there you go. The Dragon Ear 